At this point in time, we're going through a serious situation because of the coronavirus breaking out. And because of that, it's causing a lot of business to be forced to shut down to prevent the virus from spreading, especially for those who are in creative businesses. If you're a non-essential business, you automatically have to be shut down. Hi, my name is Fernando. I'm a filmmaker slash photographer from Ambria Creations. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to deal with business when it's going slow. As of now, we're told to stay inside to prevent the coronavirus from spreading to more, more than where it is right now in our environment, which it's good to be aware of what's going on in our environment, but it's not good to go into a panic. As in buying all toilet paper, you know who you are. Use this time of isolation to prepare yourself ahead. So when things get back to normal, you'll be ahead of the game, which I can understand why a lot of people who are in the creative fields are panicking because if you're a photographer, you can't go do your photo shoots unless it's in the building or at your own home. But again, people are afraid to go out. If you have to shoot a film or do a recap video or shoot a wedding, a lot of times they're shutting down, which I totally get because I had two bands to shoot for this week on two separate days, but they were both canceled because the show had to be cut. So yes, I'm losing money too, but it's best to remain calm and think of ways to resolve the situation as in think of ways of being able to be a creative, but without having to worry about being around the virus that's happening right now. Like, there's a bunch of things, like you can sell what you have right now, such as if you're a filmmaker, sell your LUTs, if you, or your color grades, or if you're a photographer, sell your Lightroom LUTs. Sell everything that you have and put them into a bundle and put them on for sale. You can sell your knowledge online, such as this platform, YouTube. You can prepare a storyboard for your future shoots or music videos so that whenever the time finally comes, you be ahead of the game. There's so many things you can do in your isolation thanks to what's in the palm of our hands. There should be no excuse for you to think of a way to situate the situation. Like me and my friend Dominique, we're thinking of throwing an online event that doesn't even require us to leave our home. Are we gonna make money out of it? No, but it allows us to become more personal and connect with our audience, which is the best thing in the world, man. I love being able, I love that one-on-one -on -one contact. And then thanks to online and thanks to webcams, you can use one camera and talk to them all at one time. Such an amazing connection. You see, you can use this day of isolation to not only be personal with your peers, with your clients, or even your family, use this to become personal with yourself. Find yourself, use this isolation to find you. And whenever you find yourself or wherever you find more than yourself that you never saw before, use that and express that in your creativity. Use what you like what you do within your shower. A lot of the greatest ideas happens in your shower because what you don't realize is that complete isolation can create a new destination in here. You never know, this could be a blessing in disguise, but it's up to you to use this time to realize what that opportunity is. One thing I want to point out though, as you've all noticed or read up or heard in the news, the target age range of this virus is 60 and up, AKA the elderly, which a lot of young people are thinking, oh, I have nothing to worry about, which, okay, cool. You want to have fun, you're young, you want to do what you want to do, you want to get active. Like we only got one life to live, I get, but is it really worth affecting another life? You could be hurting someone else's mom or dad and not even realize it. Then what happens to the kids? Here's an example for what I'm saying. Now, I'm not gonna say her name to protect her identity, but you have to understand. I currently live with my dad who has had complications from diabetes. He was recently released from the hospital after a partial foot amputation. He was lucky to stop his bone infection from spreading. He is still healing and has more doctor appointments and more nurse visitations. If anyone in our household gets COVID-19, his doctor told him directly that they would no longer be able to treat him for his foot. He needs additional foot surgery but is being classified as elective. 
which means that his infection could come back. He could lose his foot and he could potentially die from it. Not to mention the effects of the COVID-19 could take on his health. Everyone who is young and healthy out there who thinks they are entitled to engage in social gatherings or carry on with their lives, I urge you to take responsibility. You are a carrier for this disease. My dad is just one of many people who could suffer from this disease. This isn't the time to be a special snowflake. This is the time to think about your community. We are all suffering from this. Please, I urge you to change your attitude and stay home which is exactly what I'm talking about. But please do not take this time period lightly. Take responsibility and don't go into panic. This is not the apocalypse. Let the virus just take its course and take responsibility. Please remain home as much as you can. Take this time to be with your family because who knows, something can happen to them too. I might be, I might be going to a little bit extreme, but I'm just saying, please, Please take responsibility. I know today's video was a little bit intense, but I just thought I'd make a video like this because of the events that are happening outside our homes and everyone needs to be aware of it. Now I'm not saying go bananas or go into the bunker. Like I was saying before, this is not the apocalypse. Just be aware of what's going on in your surroundings and stay safe. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. And let me know, what do you think about videos like this? I'm, just, I'm loving these type of videos when it comes to an emotional level, going beyond photography and filmmaking. Let me know. I would love to hear your opinion. Until next time, see ya.